Hello you guys, welcome to another video and welcome from Davao, Philippines. I took a one-way ticket to Davao to film and create the next series of videos from where my mom's side of the family was born and raised. In this video, I joined my Tita Edits batch on their 45th high school reunion. I want to thank the Stella Maris Academy, class of 78, for allowing me to come along on this journey from Davao to Mati City. For the sake of data privacy, I was instructed not to include any of the personalities from the class in this video. We ended up going to places I never thought I would visit in the Philippines. In this video, you'll come along and learn with me about the coconut oil industry, the electricity industry, and the state of mangrove conservation here in the Philippines and more. This trip surprised me at every stop and I hope you enjoy. We're gonna be taking this bus and going around Davao City and Mati City. There's a lot of stops. It's gonna be pretty exciting to show you guys where we go. We drove out of Davao City and our first stop was New Asia Oil, a coconut oil factory. This factory exports coconut oil globally. One of their main products is refined coconut oil. Refined coconut oil is made by first separating the brown shell and skin you see here in a huge quantity from the white coconut meat. The whole coconut meat is washed, quality checked, soaked, boiled, ground, separated from water, cold pressed, vacuum dehumidified, and stored in tanks. The refining system will then deodorize, filter, and extract the final product. Organic, pure, refined coconut oil. The one thing I can't show you is the pungent smell of the coconut at the factory. We then left the coconut oil factory and headed to lunch near the sea. For lunch, it was kamayan, or boodle fight, which is a term I just learned. Kamayan is barehanded eating, but boodle fight originated from the Philippine military where a big pile of food was served and soldiers would fight by grabbing and eating as much as they could because otherwise, you wouldn't be able to eat. We made it to our next stop. It's a power plant near Mati City. It provides the emergency power for Mati City. Brownouts or power outages in the Philippines are common. In the time I've spent here, I've already experienced two. Power plants like these will provide emergency power when the main source of electricity goes out. This reminds me of Chernobyl. You ever see Chernobyl on HBO? <laughs> Thank you. They're already making this run, and it's not yet operational. They're still processing Oh, really? Papers. I asked if they were already flying, and he said, but not, yet. not yet. So it's brand new. Yeah, brand new. Very professional. We then left the power plant and drove a few more hours to where we were going to stay the night, Tropical Kanakbay Resort on a Mihan beachfront in Mati. We just got to the resort and this is the villa that we're going to be staying at. It's called Sola. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the space. We got a hammock here and then back here there's like a bonfire area and then some shaded area with a picnic table. We're gonna go up the front door and there's another shaded area where you can also eat, hang out. This is the name of the villa here, it's called Sola. So if you come in here with me. This is the kitchenette area. You get a fridge, dining space, you get some cooktops and all of the silverware that you need. And here is the main living room. Right here, you have the bathroom on the left. It's pretty nice, full bath, your standard. Nothing too fancy. Down here, this is where I'm gonna be staying. Down here, there's a seating area and then this is my bed right here. We have air conditioning and also there's a fan up here. And I like the, all the artwork right here. It gives a lot of color to the space. But I think someone's editing up here. Oh, look. <laughs> That's just the loft up here. There's two more beds, so it can actually sleep six people. Pretty cool, I hope you guys like the tour. Next on the itinerary is going to dinner in our Hawaiian shirts. I just changed into mine. We're gonna see what's for dinner. Dinner was amazing. There was more food than I could eat and I saw chicken soup get poured out of a bamboo stick, which was pretty awesome. The next morning, we took the bus about two miles down the beachfront. The bus went straight back to the resort because it was our mission to go back to the resort by going along the beachfront and picking up trash along the way. I hope you enjoy the fruits of our effort. <laughs> Hello. Ah! Oh. <laughs> 
Tapi juga mai. Wow. Today we were able to go down and clean the beach. I saw toothbrushes, cans, glass. It felt good to do this as a group effort. After this, we are going to go to the mangroves. It'll be nice to show you guys what it's like. Being a coastal province, Davao Oriental has 2,754 hectares of mangroves. Mati City provides 750 hectares of mangroves and 22 of the 24 species of mangroves can be found in the province. All right, guys, I hope you can hear me because this is the first time I'm trying this out. I'm in the middle of the mangroves right now. If you follow me through here, it's a sanctuary as well as a nursery. They plant the mangroves from seed all the way up to what you see around me. I'm going to blast you guys off here so that you guys can see exactly how big this place is. After seeing and learning everything I had on this trip, I think the most important thing that I learned was something that you didn't see in the video. From just listening and observing this big group of friends over the weekend, I could see how strong their bonds were and how their friendships over the years had grown into inside jokes, knowing how to tease each other, and a loving warmth that I also want in my life. I think the line that hit me the most is, we're like a group of first graders when we're together, we're just like kids. I grew up in a small town, and when I left for college, nearly all of my connections from elementary, middle school, and high school faded in time. But that's what excites me the most about this channel, and about travel. I can see that no matter how lonely I've been before, and how many friendships and relationships have faded over time, there's an entire world out there with literally billions of potential new friendships to be excited for. I hope you enjoyed the video. Video, learn something and decide to subscribe and comment so we can stay connected. I'll see you all in the next video.